Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to another Skyrim mod spotlight. Today we've got a mod called Quest and the Realms of Deja. Um, I'll put in like the little description in the description of my video, like a description of the mod. Um, it seems pretty cool. I don't know much about it. I'm just gonna go try it out, see if it's any good. Um, so you should probably read the description now, honestly, just so you know, like a little something ahead of time. Um, but I'm just gonna play it. Um, I know I had to go here. I had to go to the Bard's College and find a book. And in order to do that, I have to trick a robot shark into giving it to me by getting him a sacred flute. Being old's not so bad. Yeah, it is. Daughter keeps me fed. No, no, seriously, I, I don't know how I get the book. I think I just like pick it up somewhere. Alright, um let's move a little faster. Remember in Oblivion how your character once you got like to like a high level, your character basically ran this fast all the time. I miss those days. Okay, where the hell is this place? It would be helpful if I actually knew where the Bard's College was. This might be it. Oh, oh local map. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the Bard's College. Destruction magic is fine. Don't go down in the bed. Yeah. I think I'm part of the Bard's College. I'm not actually sure. So they'll either be like, Who are you? Or they'll be like, Welcome back. I'm so good with just I'm ramble old. on like an old lady. Great. What was it called? Killing before you killed. That's not it. It's... Mm. Reading. Difficult. Whoops. Let me just put this back where it belongs. Put that down. Ship. Fuck you. Alright, um, where would this guy put it? Oh, oh, here it is. Ornaral's Fate. So this guy, like, had his souls, like, torn apart and put into three different Dejagroms. So we need to read this. Author's Note. While I was writing on Hofir the Giant Slayer, I stayed for a time in Winhelm at the New Nizzi's Corner Club. 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 Why would you go there? Uh... There I engaged in conversation regularly with the local Dunmer patrons. We spoke of many things, among which the topic of the old Dunmer and Keimer, I figured out how you're supposed to say that, religions, were the one that drew my interest the most. It was hard for me to understand how a proud and honorable civilization were once worshippers of Daedra when such beliefs were so condemned within the imperial cult and worship of the divines. They told many tales of the old Velothi, their ancestors, and the worship of the so-called Good Daedra and of the House of Troubles. One tale I was told was of particular interest and was a rare insight into the ways of the Daedric princes. I had the story retold many times before deciding to put it down here in these pages. This legend is of the Chimer warlord Ornaral, the leader of a prominent Chimer tribe during the first era and his dealings with the Daedra. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a lot. Uh, should I read this? Should I really read this? I'll just if you want to read it, I'll you can pause it here. Pause it again to read it here. Pause it again and read it here. And pause it to read it here. I'll probably read it later, but since I'm making a video right now, I can't really... I have to kind of skim over it. Okay, so Arnold was a warlord. But that angered them, obviously. So then they desecrated his corpse. Oh, okay. And they ripped his soul asunder. I, I would do the same thing. Definitely. Um, And then he was just, like, kept in their realm. Uh, the Dumber say that his remains are scattered between the three ancient spots where these three princes where these princes were summoned. Okay, so I need to steal this, I think. Oh wait, no, it started it. Anyways. Um look away. Okay. She's still kinda of 
kind of looking at me. Haha! -ha! Foolish old lady. I t God, you're always so pissed off. Be happy. You're in a video game. I'd love to be in a video game. I do crazy shit. I wear one of these masks. Alright. Um. Okay, cool. We got a map marker. I think this is a Morrowind where you pretty much, it's like, Alright, good luck, go find it. And you have no map markers at all. Herma Mora. I think that's, oh, I guess. And this one is Taskmasters. That must be Periite. And that's, that's, um, that will be her scene. Well, luckily I have like a lot of travel locations, so I can just go somewhere right, like five feet away from these places. What is she trying to do? She's like holding a basketball. She's about to like, she has hoop dreams. All right. Um, I think this is it here. Yeah. You can always tell when you like move back and forth that the thing on your map like moves more than other things and that's the one that's close to you. Oh and there's also a symbol behind it so that's kind of a dead giveaway. Alright I'm gonna save. Just in case there's something there. It's raining so much. Alright uh... I don't think I exactly came up the way I was supposed to, but... Oh, hey. No, no, we don't need to fight. I just wanna... Okay, I just... I, I'm sorry. We didn't have to fight. We could've been bros. Just give me your clothes. So I can sell them. Yes, no. Get out of the way. I'm trying to make a video. Alright. Activate Ornor Rolls. Oh, God. Uh, okay. What does Hermaeus Mora do? I don't remember. Bookcase. What the hell? What's going on? What is this place? Um, speak apparition. Okay, uh, he doesn't want to talk. What you reading? Is that a porn? Oh my god, you sick, ghostly bastard. Unnamed vine. Ooh, Dajik. Th did I take it? Take. There you go. Let's see if we can unlock one of these. I'm gonna see what's in here. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh! Oh, God, I hate master locks. They're like anti lockpick. Oh, shit. No, I gotta go farther to the right. Ah. Aha! Oh, pff. it's a waste. Alright, let's quick save again. Cause I don't feel like doing that again. Lost scholar. G -g 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 ghost. Actually, they might not be ghosts. They just look ghostly. This is a crazy effect. This black and white thing. I just noticed that. I wonder how this guy did that. Is that like um? It might be that lighting thing that you can do, where you can change like the overall color of the dungeon. All right. This is his guile. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> oh, nice book. Okay, cool. That was pretty easy. I can't imagine the other ones are going to be that easy. That's probably supposed to be like the first one you do. I just killed an innocent fox and smushed its face into a rock. Why the hell did you do that, man? I'm sorry. I had to.